All right, welcome everybody to the channel. My name is Matt, and this is the Gaming Seminar. All right, so today what we are going to talk about is the pickups for the Sega Saturn. Now, like I said before, because I did get quite a few pickups this month, I decided to start this a little bit earlier than normal. And today is the Sega Saturn day. Now, just like the last episode that I did, the last one that I uploaded, it is going to be in two parts again. Or two categories, I guess would be the way to, better way to put it. With the Sega Saturn, it is a little bit harder to pick up games locally from my, two local, from my local store out here. Um, which is Respawn Retro Gaming, but I did get a couple games from there, so I'll do those ones last. And like I said before, really help support your local stores. It always comes in handy. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to eBay pickups, because I did pick up quite a few from eBay. And without further ado, gameplay will be actually in both corners, so let's get on with this. All right, so let's start off with the first game. This game, I did pick up the Japanese version and the U.S. version. The U.S. version will be in this corner. The Japanese version will be in this corner. All right, so here we go. Kaboom! Tomb Raider. So I originally picked up the Japanese version first. Then I went and got the American version. Biggest difference I've seen so far, at least the opening round of this game, is the fact that the voices are in Japanese and the Japanese version. Both versions are pretty much complete. There's no foam in this one. Then that one's in the that one's in the Japanese unit right now, so can't show that one. See? Here we go. Look. Woohoo! It's missing. It's actually in my Japanese unit on the TV back there. Alright. The next two games are gonna be sports titles. And if they happen to be World Series Baseball. And FIFA Road to the World Cup 98. So both of these games. I had World Series Baseball in the past. Um, it ended up being I had CD only. Don't know what happened to the box or anything like that. Can't even find a CD anymore. So I'm thinking a CD must have broke. So that was the reason for rebuying this one. I actually do enjoy playing this one. And this is one that I've never had. But I am trying to complete all of the EA titles on the Sega Saturn. Both are complete, which is really cool. And as you can see from the gameplay up there, both games are actually pretty darn fun. All right. We're going to go back to Sega Saturn games from Japan. And this first one, I can't remember what the U.S. version name of the game is. I think it's um, Star or something, maybe Starfighter or something like that. Definitely look into the U.S. one. I bought the Japanese one because it came with this other game. And it is Titan Wars and Boku Boku Animal. I want the U.S. version of Boku here. And I want the U.S. version of this one so I can understand the story. But these two have been really fun. I've had Boku Boku Animal once before. Um, I must have sold it off at one point. But these two games, you can see from the gameplay footage... Well worth it. Especially Titan Wars, man. Oh, this one's been fun. If you're into space shooters, one to look into. Alright, the next two sports titles in the mix happen to be of the same genre? Gender? What? Genre, of the same category. That's the word I'm looking for. They both happen to be Virtual Tennis and Breakpoint Tennis. Now, Virtual Tennis, which is going to be right up above it here, if you can watch in the gameplay here, the characters move a little on the fast side. They really do. They they move quickly when they're getting when they're changing sides and all that. I don't know if it's all going to be in the footage or not, but heard a lot of good things about this one, so I had to get it and try it out. And then when it came to this one, Point Break Tennis, I ordered this one at the exact same time, and truthfully, I like this one a bit better. It is funny when you watch the guys walking on onto the screen, and when they switch courts, they look like they're really depressed. But I like this one a little bit better. I think this one has better control. This one I'm having a little more fun with. Alright, so. The next two games I'm going to show one at a time for a moment. Because these were the last two eBay buys. But the first one 
My son introduced me to it, told me I need to check this game out because he bought it originally. I downloaded the ROM on my computer and I downloaded the English ROM hack of it so I could at least understand the story a little bit. But he was right. This is actually a lot of fun. And it is. Mobile Suit Gundam. The anime animation in this game is amazing. I know it is based off a of Japanese anime. The animations in here, when you go into the cutscenes, are downright gorgeous. I'm actually having a lot of fun in the game. I actually, when I was capturing the footage that you're watching right now, up here, um, I think I played the game for about 45 minutes to an hour, capturing footage from this thing. And it's just because I was having a lot of fun with it. You get little, like, um, we're on the ground thing that you've seen in round one up here that's probably going on. Um, then you get the space ones. I found out how to lock on the targets in the back, how to lock onto them in the front of the screen. You get big explosions and gorgeous anime. The only thing I don't like about what the person did here, this is that spine card that comes with it. I don't know why in the world they taped it on. That is annoying. I would rather just have wrapped it somehow in, inside the thing, but whatever. Okay, that was it for all my Japanese games, by the way. This last one. Mmm, yes. Alright. The last game. I had the game before. I had it CD only. I actually bought the Japanese version up at Respawn Retro Gaming. I didn't realize it was the same game until I brought it home and started playing. I'm like, I recognize this. Realized I had it. Then I realized I wanted it complete in box for the U.S. version. So, the game is F1 Challenge. Now, as you can see by the little sticker right here, this is still complete in box, never been opened. I wonder how many people I can get mad at me if I just, you know, start ripping this open. Oh, man, just, you know, oh, you just, you, get, you gotta hear the sound of it ripping. Here it goes. Oh, the sound of ripping open a brand new game. Oof. Oh, did I take anybody off with that one? Anybody mad at me for opening up the game that wasn't open before? Because I didn't really need to open it because I still have the Japanese version. Oh, F1 Formula. And you look at that gameplay there. This is a beautiful racing game. All right, that is it for the pickups off of eBay. Let's turn our attention over to Respawn Retro Gaming in Fond du Lac. So, some of these games I did pick up from Respawn Fond du Lac, and I picked it up from the West Bend store. So, what ended up happening, if you watched my video from last month, um, around, was it New Year's or was it Thanksgiving? It was one of the two. That Tony and his wife, Christina, swapped a lot of the games at the store. A lot of the Sega games. In the West Bend store, the first game I'm going to show, she had there. Tony had the Japanese version in his store. I did buy the Japanese version first. So, yes, this is another game I have. This is one that I need to find a box for, though, because it's CD only right now. But that is, if it's going to be seeable in here, a stall. I now have the American version of this game. I need to get a box for it. And there is a guy that I go to that he does pretty darn good with the boxes. My Sonic Jam ended up becoming CD only as time went on. And he gives you new foam inserts. And he does everything. Now granted, this is the real disc. This is not a backup copy. But he gives you everything. Full color manual, the whole nine yards. So I'm going to look into him to get in the, a replacement box for a stall. But, as you can see from the gameplay, this is one beautiful game. Sega Lord X mentioned this thing a bunch of times. I finally had to check it out. And when I noticed Tony had the Japanese version up in Fond du Lac, that's when I first checked it out. That same day that I bought the Fond du Lac one, in Fond du Lac, the Japanese one, I found out his wife was holding this one down in West Bend. So when they did the swap, I finally got it. All right. The next game is a soccer game. Worldwide Soccer. Now, this box is pretty damaged, so I might order a new box, but that's beside the point. It is complete. It works perfectly, as you can see from the gameplay footage going on on this side. This is a really fun soccer game. Sega did a really great job with this one. 
I need to put some more time into it to see how far I can get into it, but Sega did an excellent, excellent job on this soccer game. And I believe I have the Japanese version of this one also. Alright, that leads us down to one game. And I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, this game's got to be a banger. It's got to be the best. It's got to be just... It's got to be better than a stall. It's got to be, right? It's just... It's got to be. Well, hold your horses, ladies and gentlemen, because you are going to be surprised at this game. This is the best game ever on the Saturn. I recommend if you find this thing, you go and buy it immediately. It is that good. You'll never put you'll you'll buy this game and you'll never need to buy another one again. Another type of this game. Because these games are still being made, but not as good as this one in the Saturn. Here we go. NFL 97. <laughs> yeah, if you watch the gameplay going on right now, this is not a great, great football game. It has taken me a little bit of getting used to the footage you're seeing. Um, is still me sucking big time. Graphics are horrible. Um, if you watched any of my other videos, you know I had this already. But it was CD only. And down in the West Bend Respawn Store, she had this sitting there complete in box. I finally broke down and said, no, I want the complete version, so I finally bought it. So that way, at least, I have it complete. So... Basically, I did this just to get it complete. Truthfully, the game's not terrible if you can get used to it. The graphics suck. Game can be fun if you get used to it, but it's nowhere near Madden quality. And it's nowhere near Sega's um, 2K or even what they originally were doing on the Genesis with their NFL games. This one reminds me a little bit more of the Sega CD Madden, or not Madden, Joe Montana, which that one's not really any good neither. But if you get play it, get used to it, get used to the controls, the way the passing is, you might have fun with this one. It is something I'm going to do. I'm going to try playing out a full season in it and see if I can take the Green Bay Packers to the Super Bowl. But, all right, that was it. So, as you can see, that was quite a few games for my Sega Saturn. Like I said, I am a Sega fanboy, so it happens. But, alright. I want to thank you guys for watching. Next one will be... I think it's going to be Genesis on the next one. Or it's going to be the rest of it. I'm not sure which way I'm going quite yet. But, we'll see you guys in the next video.